Hello my beautiful fellow human beings, my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel. So I recently got a question on Instagram. I do everything possible to be able to read the signs from the universe that are supposed to track me to my life purpose, but even if I meditate and I try to be completely mindful, I still don't understand. How do I see the signs? There's a natural course of unfoldment in one's life. Some people know their purpose from a very early stage of their life. Other people like me, for example, if you have Saturn as your Atma Karka, your life purpose is going to be revealed in a very long span of time. Mostly after your 30s, you're going to start being much more mindful and understand the signs and understand the breadcrumbs, as I call them, what your life purpose actually is. So I'm sure that you will agree with me that as human beings, we have so much diversity in pretty much everything. There's one universal truth that can apply to almost anyone, and that is that humans as species were absolutely impatient. The reason why it's a combination of our ego that understands your life as a linear timeline. And it's actually also with correlation to our purpose because the meaning of life is the expansion, the transformation, the unfoldment, as I just said. So that is why we are he here in the first place. We are here to be able to uncover our purpose. So there is a natural soul desire even to be able to see what it is that we need to do in this life in order to be able to get to the princess in the castle, like I say. Otherwise, why would we here in the first place? Why would we even want to live life? Now, when these things connect, an immense amount of pressure is applied on you because you want to figure out everything now. Now, now, now. And if you think about it, life is quite funny because you're constantly stuck in between past and future, but then you want everything now. The funny thing is you have to learn to let life unfold itself certain things cannot be forced and the reason why is life as we know it there are so many things that are absolutely out of your control life is such a complex machine of gazillions of inputs that have to be connected at the right time in the right place and for the most part you cannot control any of that and also your consciousness has to be on such a level that when a certain input hits you, you have to be able to even recognize it, you have to be able to perceive it, and then you have to be able to accept it so that you can integrate it as your truth and therefore transform again into another being. Leave the past behind, now you're going to embrace a new future because your life is a constant process of transformation, whether you like it or not. You're not stagnant. If you were stagnant, you wouldn't be born in the first place. That's not what life is about. It is important to let life unfold itself for that reason. Just imagine this. If you are able to see yourself 30 years from now, and today you are the type of person who hates politics and you hate cats. And in 30 years, you are a politician who has seven cats at home. You'll be like, this is not me. This is not the person that I am. This cannot be true. You will not accept the truth because you didn't go through all the lessons that lead you to that truth. So you have to let it be. You have to focus on the present and not constantly try to dig in the future because there is no future. So the life will constantly give you a little dose of shock in here, a little dose of shock in there so that you can accept it, integrate it, move on. Now you're ready for another transformation, bigger transformation. If you get everything at one time, you will be scarred. However, there is a way to speed up this process and I'll tell you how. If you just think about what I said before, life is going to constantly give you small doses of shock. It's going to always pressure you to crack up, transform into a new version of yourself. Now, if you become mindful of this process and you become extremely sensitive and aware of each life lesson, you really focus on being self-aware to the point that you understand the meaning of life, why you are here in the first place then you can speed up this process. Why? Because each step will be very much in your own control. You will know it immediately. Just think about a person that, let's say, they go through really, really bad relationships one after another. The reason why is because they didn't learn in the first place. So the universe is going to bring 
the same lesson again and again and again and again and again and then you are stuck in that cycle but if you actually manage to see what that lesson is you are going to be able to crack from that lesson transform and the next step is waiting for you around the corner this way that process is going to speed up extremely and then you'll be able to finally get to your big purpose now guess what if you get to your big purpose at that moment if you meet anyone it is most likely that that person is going to be your true soulmate the reason why is because at that moment when you let go of the bad relationship patterns when you actually know what your purpose is you will align with the person that is supposed to help you on this mission you will align with your other half up till that point it will be very very hard because you have different lessons that you need to integrate in your life story so when you stop fighting life and you understand that this is the meaning of life this is why you're here then each integration will elevate your consciousness and the more you do this the more you're going to climb the ladder then you will also train yourself to see certain patterns and symbols and get clarity on what they mean by the way i do advise you to check my other video which talks about coincidences that can lead you to your life purpose it's those little breadcrumbs that happen in your life and then when you put them together you can actually create a life map and then from the life map you can see your purpose so the video is going to be linked somewhere here i highly recommend watching it i'm sharing my own personal story lots of very personal things about my own life and how i unfolded my own purpose after years of being so desperate begging the universe to tell me what it is that i need to do everything you need to know about yourself is here isn't it your divine self is absolutely capable of sharing all the information that it downloads from the source to you and you will know in a form of an emotion where you feel drawn and then you will be able to navigate your life in a much easier way. So the bigger bond you create with your divine self, the easier you can get rid of the unnecessary chaos that you feel when you're desperately trying to see what this is and see what that is. And if that actually meant something or it was just a pure coincidence, you will know if something means the thing that it actually means or not based on your emotional response always be guided by your by your emotions not as much by your thoughts by the way if you are currently seeing angel numbers or synchronicities such as 11 11 or 222 or 434 whatever the sequence is that you're seeing every time you check your watch every time you go around and you look at the cars or whatever go to my website christinadelaney.com there on the main page you can just write your email i'll send you a link into your email and from that link you can download the most amazing thing that i wrote which is eight page long ultimate guide to angel numbers or synchronicities and you will see the frequencies of each number but you will also see one very important key component how to be able to even understand what that number is supposed to say because it's not just about the frequency and when i was going through my spiritual awakening all those guides they missed this point so i wanted to make sure that i'm gonna give you this point and you will be able to really fully understand what the universe is trying to tell you when it's trying to communicate through mathematics through numbers or patterns and stuff like that so make sure that you go and you check that out christinadelaney.com just write it there your email and it's absolutely for free you can keep it forever or you can delete it after you read it it's up to you but um that's about it so please make sure that you like this video you subscribe to this channel if you're interested in this type of content make sure that you comment down below and you let me know how you feel about this how this resonated if you downloaded the ultimate guide if it was helpful to you and also let me know what you want me to talk about next i am quite happy to take your suggestions thank you so much for your time i really value it a lot and until next time light and love see you soon